Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures and thank you for tuning in once again. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to create chart layouts within TradingView platform with AMP Futures exclusively free platform at no monthly cost. Uh, let's get right into it. So I'm going to pull up the platform and uh, if, uh, if you're wondering what chart layouts will do for you, it's a great way, you know, if you get in there and start making changes to your chart, whether it's the background, the color of your candles, um, just basic changes that you made to, uh, in terms of the appearance of the chart. And of course, when you open up a new chart or if you create a multi-chart uh, display within TradingView, uh, you would like to apply that chart layout to additional charts that you have within your workspace. So uh, in the earlier video that we did prior to this one, we showed you how to use indicator templates, which is morally focusing on how to create templates for indicators. In this particular video, you're going to learn how to create chart layouts so it's separate from indicators, morally the appearance of the chart and any changes that you make to the chart itself. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to sh first thing you want to do, similar to, to temp uh, indicator templates, you're going to make the changes that you want to make to your chart. So you're going to right-click on your chart, you're going to go to properties, and then you're just going to go you know, to the style tab, make your changes, your scales, make your changes, your background, make your changes. You know, any changes that you feel are going to meet the, you know, meet, meet what you want to do within the, the, the platform itself. So just make the changes, make, you know, spend as much time as you need. And then once you have the, the chart layout exactly the way that you, you wish to have it, the next step is saving the layout. So let me make a couple of changes. Uh, let me go in here and just, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to go through a very intensive change process, but I'll just change some, some simple things such as like the background color, for example. So uh, let's just say I change this to a gray setup. So it's a very simple change. All right, so click OK. And then now what I'm going to do is by default, the chart layout background is white. So I've changed it to gray. So the next step, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit this button here, which is the little cloud icon with an up arrow. And you can see that it saves chart layout. All right, so if I left click on that button, this little box pops up and what allows me, which basically allows me to create the, the, the name of the chart layout. Okay, so we'll just call this, for example, gray. All right, or just, we'll just call it today's date, for example. So 6-7-2016, and then we're going to click OK. All right, so now we have that saved. All right, now... Let's go ahead and just change, uh, let's, let's, let's make another change. So let's go back here, let's go to background. I'm going to change this to, let's say, uh, let's try a different color here. How about, uh, see how this looks, kind of a, an olive green or so. I'm going to click OK. And the reason why I'm just changing background color is so you can, you can see the difference in terms of the chart layouts, in terms of how it, it will implement into the platform when I use the different layouts. So now that I have this different background color, I'm going to now go here, and I'm going to click Save As. Okay, so this is important. You don't want to click Save Chart Layout. So what I'm demonstrating right now is, is how you create separate chart layouts. Okay, so the first one you saw that I changed the background from white to gray. Now on this particular layout, I'm, I'm changing the, the, the background from gray to green. But I want to keep those layouts separate. So if you hit save chart layout, that's going to override the changes that you've already created for the 6-7-2016 workspace. So you don't, you don't want to do that, or better yet, chart layout. You don't want to do that because that's basically going to override it. So you want to hit save as. When you hit save as, now you can see it brings up that same exact dialog box, but then you're just going to call it something different. So we'll just call it green, for example. I click OK. All right, so now we're on the green chart layout. But if you go here, or better yet here, load chart layout, you now will see a list of the, of the actual chart layouts that you've created. So similar to te uh, indicator templates, there's no limitation to how many you can create. You can create as many as you wish. Of course, you can delete them here from this little trash can icon. But watch what happens. I can swap back and forth now. So here's the 6-7-2016. That's the gray background. Switching back to green, and that's the green background. So this is going to be, again, another great tool for you to use to be efficient in using specific chart layouts for specific charts that you have, especially if you have multiple charts. It's going to save you a lot of time. And then, of course, what I've just demonstrated was a very basic change in terms of just changing the background. But, but you as the user have the ability to get in there and really make some in-depth changes. So, for example, you can get in there and start changing uh, the color candles. So I can go here, change that to black, start changing this around any way that you wish that you feel is going to be best for your preference. And then once you make those changes, then just save them. Now, of course, in this case, I have the green chart layout here. So I've just made some, some changes to the black uh, the, the candles themselves, I changed them to black and white versus red and green. So now if I want to save this change, and you're not going to save as because save as is creating another template altogether. I'm just, I, I would like to override the existing changes this time. So this time you're just going to simply click save chart layout. Okay, so now watch, let me demonstrate. 
I'm going to go back to the original one. That's the gray workspace. So watch, if I go back to green, you see how those changes stayed? So I repeat, if you make any changes to the existing chart layout and you would like to, to override the previous changes that you made for that chart layout, then just make sure you hit Save Chart Layout. However, if you're trying to create a separate chart layout, maybe specific for a different purpose, whatever the case may be, then make sure you hit Save As. Save As is going to give you the ability to create multiple templates. All right? So Save Chart Layout will override the changes of the existing chart layout that you, that you currently have open, and Save As will give you the ability to create a different layout. All right, so let me do one more. I'm going to right-click on the chart, go to Properties. Uh, this time we'll just go Background. We'll change this to let's say a background of the pink for oh, let's, let's change it to let's say a light blue or, or okay and we'll go here style and we'll just change the colors of the candles red or better yet we'll do green and then we'll do red all right so now you have the chart this is a different chart layout now if I click here save chart layout that's going to override the green so we don't want to do that we want to hit save as and then we'll just call this we'll just call this blue I right, click OK now I have three templates so I can go either green I can go blue, or I can go gray. And that pretty much is chart layouts. This is a really nice function within TradingView. It's a very, uh, very important for you to understand how to do this because, again, if you make any changes to the default chart setup, you're going to want to make those changes. And when you make those changes, you want to make sure that you can apply those changes to different charts very easily. So this is pretty much chart layouts. If you have any questions, please call our 24-hour support team around the clock. 312-893-6400, extension 1. That transfers you directly to the help desk. In the meantime, guys, for, for more videos, please visit our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in getting new content uploaded so we can keep you informed of our products. The URL to our channel is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you very much for your valuable time. We appreciate uh, for you tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy trading. <laughs>